Hello and welcome to tip number 13 in this 30 Photoshop tips course. What I'm going to show you today is how to quickly duplicate your layer mask between layers. It's a very effective technique, it's actually super simple. So I'm just going to come into Photoshop, we've just got a blank document open and a background layer. So I'm just going to add a layer mask to this layer and I'm just going to fill a little bit on the layer mask. So I'm just going to make a selection here, here and here. I'm just going to hold down com uh, Alt and Backspace to fill. So I filled in black on my layer mask so this is now hidden. So I'm just going to deselect there so Command and cr or Control D and now I'm just going to add a solid color layer um, above this layer. Now what we have here, this solid color layer has a layer mask already and we've got the layer mask we just created on this bottom layer in the stack. So I'm just going to hold down Alt, now you must hold down Alt here and I'm going to click on the layer mask and you're going to see now I have hold of this layer mask and as I hover over the layer above it's got a blue outline around that layer. So we're essentially copying this layer mask to this layer. So I'm just going to let go there and it's going to say replace layer mask. So because this solid color layer already had a layer mask, we're going to replace it. So yes, we want to replace it. And there you go. We have simply click and dragged to copy this layer mask across. So when you've got complex selections, maybe you've selected some hair and you want to copy that layer mask across to other layers, um, other adjustment layers, then this is a perfect way to do it. Simply hold down Alt, click on the layer mask and drag it to a new layer and yes replace the original layer mask. If you go to a new layer and we hold down Alt and click and drag, this layer at the top doesn't have a layer mask at all so it's simply going to apply it straight away. Thank you very much for joining me in this tip, it's a super helpful one, it's one that I use all the time. I shall see you in the next video for more Photoshop tips.